Bonjour tout le monde. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. It's an honor to welcome NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg to Ottawa today. Jens visited Canada's East Coast recently for the Halifax International Security Forum, accepting the Halifax Builder Award on behalf of NATO for the organization's work to strengthen cooperation amongst democracies. In accepting the award, he said of NATO allies, in good times we enjoy each other's company, and in bad times we come to each other's aid, which I thought was a pretty apt way of characterizing our relationship. Allies, yes, but also friends. It was on this day in 1949 that representatives of 12 allies, including Canada's Lester B. Pearson, came together in Washington to sign the treaty that created the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So the significance of today, April 4th, is not lost on me, and it's been my absolute privilege to meet with Jens today on Parliament Hill. Cet après-midi, nous nous sommes entretenus sur le rôle que joue le Canada au sein de l'OTAN et de son engagement de longue date auprès de cette alliance importante. Nous avons également discuté de la façon dont l'OTAN s'adapte aux défis d'aujourd'hui en matière de sécurité, y compris du besoin de faire avancer le programme sur les femmes, la paix et la sécurité. Et comme nos partenaires le savent, le Canada répondra toujours à l'appel de l'Alliance. Aujourd'hui, le Canada lance une campagne médiatique intitulée « Nous sommes l'OTAN » et ajoute sa voix à celle de nos alliés qui ont lancé des campagnes semblables au cours de la dernière année. Cette nouvelle initiative a pour but de montrer aux Canadiens ce que fait le Canada pour l'Alliance et ce que fait l'OTAN pour la sécurité de notre pays. Recent political, political instability, civil unrest, and threats to democracy remind us of why NATO matters in the 21st century. Not only is Canada an unwavering member of this alliance, we are also active, from our leadership in NATO's multinational battle group in Latvia and helping patrol the skies in the North Atlantic in Iceland, to partnering in Iraq to help build local capacity and denouncing Russian aggression in all its forms. Working in unison to promote peace and security, member nations know that we are indeed stronger together. We share much more than an ocean. We share a vision of what our world can and should be, a place of cooperation and mutual respect. The rule of law, democracy, security, these are principles worth fighting for. Notre partenariat transatlantique nous tiendra toujours côte à côte pour défendre ce qui compte. Je suis impatient de me rendre à Bruxelles en juillet prochain pour participer au sommet de l'OTAN de 2018. Encore une fois, c'est un honneur de recevoir le secrétaire général aujourd'hui à Ottawa et je vais maintenant lui céder la parole avant de passer aux questions. Je vous remercie. Jens. Thank you so much, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. Justin, it's great to be back in uh, Ottawa and to meet uh, with uh, you. And as you said, NATO was established by the Washington Treaty 69 years ago today. So uh, the 4th of April is an important date in the history of uh, NATO. Since then, our alliance has been a guarantor of peace, providing security and preventing conflict because North America and Europe stand together. Canada was a founding member of the Alliance, and today Canada continues to make vital contributions to our shared uh, security. Following Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea and aggressive actions in eastern Ukraine, NATO boosted uh, its presence in the eastern part of our Alliance. And today, Canada leads our multinational battle group in Latvia, your largest uh, European deployment since the Cold War. When I visited uh, the Canadian troops in Adasi with uh, Defence Minister Sajjan last year, I was impressed by their dedication and by the fact that so many are serving so far from home to deter aggression and keep our allies safe. Canadian jets have also patrolled the Black Sea region to support Romania, 
and Canadian ships boost NATO's maritime presence from the North Sea to the Aegean Sea. I also warmly welcome the Canadian decision to rejoin our AWACS program. We have flown uh, these surveillance aircraft on NATO missions for more than 30 years. And today we use them to support the global coalition to defeat Daesh. Canada also makes important contributions to NATO partners. Your support for Ukraine helps boost its resilience. You are making a major financial contribution to the Afghan National Army Trust Fund. And just last month, uh, I saw how your trainers help Iraqi officers and soldiers in keeping their country safe. Justin, uh, both of, you, of us agree uh, that gender equality is not just the right thing to do, it is also the smart thing to do. So I also appreciate Canada's work to keep gender issues high on the NATO agenda. And I'm working closely with Claire Hutchinson from uh, Nova Scotia, my new special representative for women, peace and security. And let me also commend Canada for investing more in defense. After years of decline, defense spending now is increasing, and I welcome your government's commitment to make further increases. Today, we had an excellent discussion uh, uh, on how to prepare for the upcoming summit in NATO and how to continue uh, the adaptation of the alliance. Over the past few years, uh, the world has become uh, more unstable and more unpredictable, and NATO has responded with determination. At the summit in July, we will take the next steps to further strengthen our deterrence and defense, project stability and fight terrorism beyond our borders, and modernize our alliance for the challenges of the 21st century. Canada's contributions to the transatlantic bond and to international security remain essential just as they have been since NATO was founded on this day in 1949. So once again, thank you so much, Justin, for hosting me and my delegation and for excellent discussions today.